We are moving on to homophones. A homophone would be uh, two or more words that are spelled differently but sound the same. And uh, what do you call a naked grizzly? A bear, bear. Those are homophones, mm -hmm. also anagrams. And what do you call a pony with a sore, sore throat? A horse, horse. Again, two words that sound the same but have different meanings. Many of us in this room, I am sure, the first one of those we heard is what's black and white and red all over. And before we got, you know, the zebra with diaper rash and the nun who spilled ketchup on herself. And even back then, Pravda, which doesn't work anymore, but was black and white and red all over, doesn't work anymore. So I don't say, it. wait a minute, I just did. Um, but, and we go, oh, red, a color, and then kind of running your eyes, you know, however we were thinking then. Those are called homophones. Uh, from two classical roots that mean same sound. So we're going to have some fun with that. So we, um, the two, I just did the, the down arrow. Just do the down arrow. <clears throat> so I, I wrote this, uh, and uh, you will see how there are many homophones. Uh -huh. Here's a rhyme piece we made up in our idle time. Homophones can seem so wild From their nose right to their toes With pride we know it will not bore you It's meant to be read aloud One night a night on a horse horse Rode out upon a road You can sing with me if you want This male or male for war and wood Explore a wood that clothes even more and more. His tale I'll tell from head to tail. I'll write his right of right. A hidden sight our hero saw. A sight that I shall sight. Here's a ride piece we made up in our For you to see, and how homophones can seem so wild from their nose right to their toes. With pride, With pride we know it will not bore you, it's meant to be read aloud. With woe he shouted, Woe as rain without a break did rain. To break, he pulled the rain, and like a shattered pain, felt pain. My favorite verse, it came to me in like three minutes, and it was three kinds of pour, liquid pour, the pour is the hole here uh, in your skin, and pour meaning lacking funds or whatever. So here we go, it was just so much fun. Flash, it came. The poor knight met a witch, which made sweat pour from every pore. He'd never seen a scene like that, his sore heart couldn't soar. Here's a ride piece we made up in our idle time. We wrote it for you to see how homophones can seem so wild. From their nose right to their toes. With pride we know it will not bore you. It's meant to be read aloud. The bell has tolled, we're told, the hour to end our tale draws nigh. Without ado, I bid adieu, so by your leave, bye bye. I cannot tell you how much fun it is to write that kind of thing. What you want to be in life itself, and certainly as a writer, is a swan. And with a swan, the author, maybe the people who are putting on this wonderful annual gathering, what you see is the swan just gliding across the water and everything seems to be so easy, but underneath are those little padded feet going <laughs> You don't hear the all you it's just the swan. You make it look easy. It's the joy of writing and frankly the joy of living.